to stabbing. Go to, where lodges he? To tell you where he lodges is to tell you where I lie. Can anything be made of this? I don't know where he lodges. And for me to devise a lodging and say he lodges here, he lodges there, or to lie in my own throat. Can you inquire him out and be edified by report? I will catechize the world for him. That is, make questions and thereby answer. Seek him, bid him come hither, tell him I have moved my lord on his behalf, and hope all will be well. To do so is within the compass of man's wit, and therefore I will attempt the doing it. Where shall I know that handkerchief, Emilia? I know not, madam. Believe me, I had rather have lost my purse full of crusaders, and but my noble moor is made of no such baseness as jealous creatures are. It were enough to put him to ill thinking. Is he not jealous? Who, he? I think the song where he was born drew all such humors from him. Look where he comes. I will not leave him now till the castle be called to him. How is it with you? Well, my right, good lady, your hardness to dissemble. How do you eat as a man? Well, my good lord. Give me your hand. This hand is moist, my lady. Aya has found no age, no, no, no sorrow. This argues for fruitfulness and liberal heart. Hot, hot, moist. For this hand requires a sequester for liberty, fasting, and prayer. Much castigation exercise devout. For here lies the young and sweating devil that commonly rebels. It is a good hand, a frank one. You may indeed say so, for it was that hand that gave away my heart. A liberal hand. The hearts of the old give hands, but our new heraldry is hands, not hearts. I cannot speak of this. Come now, your promise. What promise? I have sent me Castor come speak with you. Oh, souls and wrong offends me. Give me thy handkerchief. Here, my lord. That which I gave you? Uh, I have it not about me. Not? No, faith, my lord. That is a fault. That handkerchief did an Egyptian to my mother give. She was a charmer. She could almost read the thoughts of people. She told her when she kept it to make her amiable to my father and subdue him entirely to her love. Or she lost it. Or he gifted it. My father would hold her loathed and his spirits would hunt for new fancies. <coughs> she... <coughs> I... give it to me. To lose it, or to gift of it, with such perdition as nothing else can match. It is possible. It is true. There's magic in the world. Sybil did once number the world, and the sun coursed 200 compasses. In her prophetic fury, it sowed the work. It was dyed in money, which the skillful conserved in maidens' hearts. I faith, it's true. Most of our time, the food looked to it well. I want to God, I had never seen it. Huh? Wherefore? Why do you speak so startlingly and rash? It's lost. It's gone. Speak, woman. Is it out of the way? Heaven bless us. Say you. It is not lost. But what enough it were? How? I say, it is not lost. Fetch it. Let me see it. Why, so I can. 
but I will not now. This is a trick to put me from my suit. Pray you, talk me of Cassio. Fetch me the handkerchief. My mind misgives. Come, gives. come, you'll never read a more sufficient man. The handkerchief. Pray, talk me of Cassio. The handkerchief! A man that all this time hath founded his good fortunes upon your love. Shall the handkerchief! You? I faith, you are to blame. Is he not jealous? I, I never saw this before. Sure, there must be some water in this handkerchief. I am most unhappy at the loss of it. This not a year or two shows us a man. They are all but stomachs, and we all but food. They eat us hungrily, and when they are full, they belch us. Look you, Cassio, my husband. There is no other way. Tis you must do it. And know the happiness. Go and importune her. How now, good Cassio? What's the news with you? Madam. My former suit, I do beseech you that by your virtuous means I may again exist and be a member of his love, whom I, with all the office of my heart, entirely honor. I would not be delayed. If my offense be of such mortal kind, that nor my service past, nor present sorrows, nor purpose merit in futurity can ransom me into his love again, but to know so must be my benefit. So shall I clothe me in a forced content and shut myself up on some other course to future's alms. Alas, thrice, gentle Cassio, my advocation is not now in tune. My lord is not my lord, nor should I know him, for he in favor as in humor altered. So help me, every spirit sanctified, as I have spoken for you all my best and stood within the blank of his displeasure for my free speech. You must so well be patient. What I can do, I will. And I will more than for myself, I dare, let that suffice you. Is my lord angry? He went hence, but now, and certainly is raging fightings. Can he be angry? I've seen the cannon when it hath blown his ranks into the air, and, like the devil, from his very arm, puffed his own brother. And is he angry? Something of a moment, then. I will go and meet him. There's matter in it indeed, if he be angry. I pray thee, do so. Something, sure of state, either from Venice or some unhatched practice made demonstrable here in Cyprus to him, hath portled his clear spirit, and in such cases men's nature wrangle with inferior things, though great ones are their object. Tis even so, for let our finger ache, and it induces our other healthful members even to a sense of pain. Nay, we must think men are not gods, nor, nor of them look for such observances as fits the bridal. Beshrew me much, Emilia, arraigning his kindness with my soul. I was, and handsome warrior as I am, I find I had sovereign the witness, and he is invicted falsely. Pray heaven it be, state matters as you think, and no conception, nor no jealous toy. Alas, the day I never gave him cause, but jealous souls will not be answered so. They are not ever jealous for the cause, but they're jealous for their jealous. It is a monster, begot upon itself, born on itself. Heaven keep that monster from Apollo's mind, lady. Um. <laughs> I will go seek him. Cassio, walk hereabout. If I do find him fit, I will move your suit and seek to effect it to my uttermost. I humbly thank your ladyship. Save you, friend Cassio! What make you from home? How is it with you, my most fair Bianca? I fade, sweet love. I was coming to your house. And I was going to your lodging, Cassio. What? Keep a week away? Seven days and nights, eight score eight hours, and lovers absent hours more tedious than the dial eight score times? Oh, where are you reckoning? Pardon me, Bianca? I have this while with laden thoughts been pressed, but I shall at a more continuate time. Strike off the score of absence. Take me this work out. Oh, Cassio, whence came this?
Is this some token from a newer friend? To the felt absence, now I feel a cause. It came to this? Well, well. Go to, woman. Throw your vile guesses in the devil's teeth. From whence you have them. You are jealous now that this is from some mistress, some remembrance. No, by my faith, Bianca. Why? Whose is it? I know not neither. I found it in my chamber. I like the work well, ere it be demanded. As I cannot fit will, I would have it copied. Take it, do it, and leave me for this time. Leave you? Wherefore? I do attend here on the general, and think it no addition, nor wish for him to see me womaned. Why? But I pray you. Not that I love you not, but that you do not love me. I pray you, bring me on your way a little, and tell me if I should see you soon at night. Tis but a little way I can bring you, for I attend here, but I will see you soon. This very good, I must be circumstanced. I think at the end I did connect with him and it was successful, but it was hard to um, portray him. I actually thought it would take five, six dates before everyone would be able to agree on a date, but it didn't. It took one or maximum two. So I think that many of us put this project as our number one priority. The biggest challenge uh, for me was to find the costume for Othello because I really wanted to find uh, a way that would make him stand out from the rest of the characters in the play. Well, there was a laugh less than a while. But I felt like as we got into character and as we empathized with them, it wasn't hard anymore. I decided to have it be more focused on his heritage rather than his skin color. So um, there are different techniques. The ones which I use were a lot of repetition and then a lot of imagery. So connecting images to different passages is what um, helped me memorize all up. Yes, it was difficult to set it all up as we had three different cameras. Uh, filming at the same moment and whilst filming we were also trying not to film each other. It kind of got crazy sometimes but we eventually worked it out. I would say the weather because it was really really cold outside and we it took us five hours to film the whole thing. I wanted to portray her character both as mature and innocent at the same time both as dreaming and in love but wise so I felt like one hard thing for me was to portray both aspects of her character. We tried to avoid filming modern things such as um, furniture that looked modern or having people in the background or there were a lot of graffiti and spray paint on the walls and street signs so we just tried to um, have those out of frame. So thankfully we had many good makeup artists in the crew and a fellow was really challenging for them and I think it took about two hours even more so that was great. <laughs> Who do you think had the nicest costume in the play? Uh, the clown. Um, Othello. I think it was probably Emmy who played the clown. I think everybody's costume were amazing because I was the one who organized it all so it's great. <laughs> Guys, my shoes. <laughs>